Hey co friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we have another blow dryer battle. And we're gonna compare this new contender to a fave in the curly community. And that is the Tymo Air Hype versus the beloved Dyson. Now I have purchased the Dyson with my own money and I'm still not okay with how much I paid for this. These are going for at least like $430. Where this Tymo Air Hype is only $199.99. The Dyson is more than double the price. But how are they similar? Let's compare. Today's video is sponsored by the Tymo Air Hype, but I'm gonna show you in real time so I can show you real results to see what are the real similarities and differences and is it actually a dupe. I have a lot of blow dryers, but I wouldn't necessarily call any of them a Dyson dupe. Do they also work well? Yes, but they're not the same. So I wanna see like what's actually similar about this to the Dyson. So first of all, let's look at the bodies. I don't notice a huge difference in weight. They're pretty similar. The Dyson has a shorter nozzle, but is wider where this is a little bit more slim. The Dyson doesn't have anything on the front. Everything is like a thumb control where the Tymo has something on the back and the front. But one of the coolest things about the Tymo that the Dyson definitely does not have is this digital screen. So right now it's off. That was hard to show on camera. <laughs> but I think having the digital screen is so cool. One thing I know is it does not have a cool shot button, but that's kind of a preference thing because some people don't like to have to hold down the button, where this one is just a continuous cool setting. So it's an 80 degree setting. It has a little snowflake next to it, so that's how you know it's cool. And then you could just keep it in the cool without having to press anything down. They both have three fan speeds. I don't know the temperatures of the Dyson because it doesn't tell me. Where this one, I know exactly how much heat I'm putting on my hair. 80 degrees, 140, 180, or 210. Attachment wise, they both have diffusers. They both pop on via magnet, but the Dyson one doesn't have any extendable little teeth or prongs right here. So it has this little handle and you can extend the teeth, which is great for getting your roots. So I really like that feature and I'm happy that this has it. The Tymo also comes with the pick attachment where at the time when I bought my Dyson, it did not come with the attachment. That was an additional $55. They do have little packages now where they are finally including it, but at the time, I didn't even get this one, so I'm happy that this is included. And then they both have the concentrator nozzle, which I personally never use. This is also 82% quieter than most blow dryers. I like how on the website, it has a little sleeping baby. So if I can diffuse without waking up my child, that is also a key feature. Let's see how they both sound. I don't notice a huge difference. I feel like they sound similar though. These do not sound the same as my other blow dryers. There's definitely a similarity here. That's enough talking. Let's see it in action. First, let's start off with the Dyson. This is me filming on a completely different day, fresh out the shower so we can get the exact comparable results. Wet hair, styling with the same one product. And then I'm going to be using my Dyson on a medium heat level, just like I will my Tymo. All right, hair is still very wet. Let me add my mousse. Mousse is applied, let's do this. I'm gonna put this on a medium heat setting, high fan speed. Go. Time. 10 minutes, let's see where we are. Hair is completely dry. Oh, maybe is one little wet curl. But for the most part, it's a 10 minute one and done thing. At this point, I would have loved to try the little pick attachment for the Dyson, but I don't have one because it wasn't included at the time. But now let's do this again on a different day, trying the Tymo Air Hype and see how it compares. 
All right, fresh out the shower. Let's do this. Let's see how fast this blow dryer dries. So my hair is still wet. Now I'm going to add the Dew Bee Girl Crazy Sexy Curl Honey Setting Foam. Uh, this is kind of new to me. I've used it a couple times. I like that it gives my hair moisture and it has some hold. So one tip I could definitely give you when diffusing to avoid frizz, you want to use something that has a cast, meaning it kind of gives you a little bit of that stiffness. You want either a mousse or gel or hairspray because there will be air blowing your hair around and you don't want it to create more frizz. It's very wet. This is gonna be a true test to see how quickly we can go from wet to dry. Okay. Looks beautiful and shiny though. Ooh, you do smell the honey in this. Okay, that looks really good. I am 100% team diffuser because my hair will take seven to 10 business days to dry. So here she is. Very cute, nice and slim. Red is my favorite color, like that little detail. But the coolest part about this blow dryer is that it has, let's turn it on. Plugging it in also helps 99% of the time. It has a digital screen. That is very cool. You know, I've reviewed a lot of blow dryers, if not all of them. So I like to notice what's unique. Like, why do we care? What's cool about you? That's pretty cool. So it has the fan speeds. Not in the face, goodness. I'll show you later. <laughs> so let me grab my diffuser. And it is magnetic, just like the Dyson. So when diffusing, you want to start off on your roots. That's the part that takes the longest to dry. Your ends dry the fastest. It's also probably the driest part of your hair. So we're gonna go from roots and then go down our hair in a downward motion. This also has these little teeth that extend. Something that Dyson doesn't do. Now these little long teeth can help get to your scalp and dry your roots even faster. So I'm gonna bring the prongs out for the roots and then retract them again for the lengths of my hair. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna have to go back and just time how long that footage was. But let's just at least add on some time now and see where we are. All right, now, let me give myself five minutes. That was five minutes. Just took a break to rewatch the footage I just shot and time it. And I was diffusing for four minutes and 13 seconds. So I technically still have 48 seconds to diffuse if I wanted to compare it to the 10 minute Dyson time. But let's see where I'm at right now. I mean, it's basically dry. I think I might take those 48 seconds just to hit this one little patch. But for the most part, it's dry, it's beautiful, and it's shiny. Start the clock. All right, 49 seconds, but it actually made a big difference. Like I am completely dry now. Oh, very, very impressed. But while we're here, let's keep going with the attachment. So dry time, a solid 10 minutes to go from soaking wet to dry. But now I wanna get my shape right I'm gonna do that using one of the attachments that comes with it. This is like their pick attachment and get some more raised roots for the volume. So I'm gonna do... All right, don't need a high fan speed for this attachment. We'll keep it at 180. So here and lift the roots. You see the volume? 
It's looking so good. My hair kind of wants to do a side situation today. That's fine. You could choose. Concluding thoughts are, I feel like there are obviously a lot of blow dryer and diffuser options. I'm pretty sure I've tried them all, the best of the best. And there are other great blow dryers out there, but I don't think I would call them Dyson dupes. Whereas this one honestly does feel like the closest dupe to a Dyson for a fraction of the cost. It sounds the same, it feels the same, and I feel like I'm just getting similar results where it's just really fast. And it also really minimized frizz. I have some blow dryers that also dry fast, but I do notice a little bit more frizz. So I think like the Ionic technology in this does a great job and it's very, very similar to the Dyson where I think I might just start recommending this one, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money. It just really feels the same. So let me know what you guys think of the Tymo Air Hype blow dryer and diffuser. If you're looking for one, I would definitely recommend this one. It did a great job. It's fast, it minimizes frizz, and it's way cheaper than the Dyson. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.